Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the new unlocker for Mortal Kombat 1 and at the same time it replaces the old unlocker for Mortal Kombat 11 and if everything goes right for Injustice 2 as well so the first step you need to do is you need to download the tool unlike the previous version you don't need the ASI, you don't need the hook, you don't need anything you don't even need to download the game anymore all you need to do is this tool so you have three main areas to download the first area is from github you can find the downloads on the right side or here so if you download them you just need to download the exe file and the game that you want so for the sake of this tutorial I need these three because I want to show you both games so I download this one you can see it's downloading then download this one it's also downloading and then download the tool and now I can just put them in a folder which is this folder for example it can be anywhere and I just have to open the application you might get a warning that is because remember how I said you no longer need to download the hook and the everything because they are already inside and Windows does not like it when there is DLL hidden inside the exe so I'm just gonna click run anyway and then this is optional you don't really need it sorry I forgot to sign out and then you will reach this menu you will see the version and then the games and then you will have three buttons if you are using the old version or if you are using the fiddler tutorial which is for Xbox and epic games and at the same time if you want to keep your key with you in case I release a web version in the future then you need to follow this tutorial to find out how to find your key this tutorial shows you how to get the token so I will link it in the description but there will be only one difference which is in this tutorial once he reaches the appropriate key he goes to syntax view but if you are on Xbox or you are in Epic Games you will have to go to headers and for the headers on Xbox it will start with XBL3 but if you are on uh, Epic Games it will start with EY so in other words XBL3 is your Xbox token and EY is your Epic Games token these tokens you have to put them here and then you can click I have my token and wait for it to load but if you are just using Steam then all you have to do is select the right game and then click Steam is running so for example let me bring back this file so that you can see uh, let's start with MK11 if I click Steam is running it is requesting Steam ticket authenticating with the servers and then it logged in and takes me to the login screen so if I go back to the tutorial you will see that both MK1 and MK11 folders are gone that's because they got extracted so the right folder is the exe dumps and the settings inside the dumps is the game so these are the stuff that the unlocker will use now I'm gonna delete this folder I'm gonna delete this set, uh, settings file I'm gonna log out and then I'm going to show you how to download them from Nexus because it is a little bit different for github and for MK secrets the process is the same but for Nexus it is a little bit different because Nexus changes the file names and file extensions on its own so you need to go to files you have to download the tool by itself so you can just download it normally slow download and the download will start and at the same time you have to go back and download the file that you need so let's download mk1 for example you will see the name of the file is this it is different than steam and mk secrets so what you have to do is copy the file that you downloaded uh, is it downloading? ok 
okay that was weird anyway this is the file that I downloaded if you open it you will find this inside it you can just put it here and then delete this one you no longer need it and then you can do the same for mk11 so I'm just gonna show you so that uh, people who are having problems they can do the same as me again if you download it from nexus this is only for nexus then i don't need this file anymore and then let me close this then now i can open the unlocker again i want to show you this side by side so if i open mortal kombat 1 and click steam is running there's authenticating with mk1 and you can see the mk1 folder is automatically gone and replaced with the dumps it's already extracted everything so now how to use this here you have all the categories that you can unlock stuff from and you can search this is a new feature that was not available before so let's say I want to unlock the Floyd background for example which is called uh, field night So you can see that there are here options as well for sorting, changes the way sorting works and showing items that have been unlocked before and disabled items and mode. Mode allows you to unlock or lock items in case you unlock an item that you should not have or you did not want to. Disabled are items that I have absolutely no idea what they do or they cause problems so they are not recommended. And for this one, you can unlock items again. If you, for example, for some reason, it is locked or something. So if I show you this button, you can see that the field sunset and field night, I already own both of them and they are here to unlock. I can just add them to cart and they are already here. This is also a button to show you the details, but it's not currently implemented for Mortal Kombat 1, but it's implemented for 11 and I will show you in a bit. So you can search here by the skin name, by the name of the item, by the ID, by the update. So for example, items that were released during Floyd, you can find them here, even though they are not called Floyd, but because they were in the same update. And here you can find the tutorial. This will send you to this video that I'm recording now. Here you can find your profile information, the language selector, because the game has multiple languages and this is sync the inventory in case something went wrong and this is in case you want to support and this is the sign out button so that you can go back to the main menu so if i click on profile you can see all of this stuff for the currency these are the currency that you can change for the character progression and cameo progression i did not implement those because when you increment them you will not receive the rewards so it is easier to just unlock the skins directly and profile information contains floyd challenges so you can see here i finished 13 challenge but floyd is not active i can change this to one and then click on unlock and it told me that i am changing one item so this will unlock the floyd fight for me this means if i set this to one and i play the game i will face floyd but I don't want that so let me reset everything for the coins I can change this for example to 500 and then click unlock and then if I sync my inventory you will see that the items are already unlocked so I don't need to open the game I don't need to check everything is already visible for me here from the servers and if there is any error, you will find it here as well. At the same time, if you are an advanced user, you can click on inspect. And then you will see this. Everything that is happening will be written here on the bottom. Now, I will show you the MK11 part. So I open MK11. 
Now for MK11, remember there was a way to use it while the game is running. So I kept this button, but I always prefer to use Steam is running. This does not work with Xbox. This is only for Steam. So I always click Steam is running, or I can click the sign-ins that I did before. So again, you can see it's signing in. And the inventory for MK11 is slow because there are more items. So you might have to wait a while, especially if your internet is slow. And then you can see three different items. The items, the collections, and the unlocks. So let's say I want to unlock, for example, background means stage, by the way. So if I, I already have these stages, so no problem. So let's unlock announcers, for example. Chronica's announcer. And then in the items, I want to unlock Citrion. I want to unlock Brutality, for example. I don't have Citrion Brutality 7, so I just add it to the cart. And then I can just click Unlock. And unlocked two items. And you can see they are automatically shown as owned. So again, you can have here the profile. And you can see different categories here. Player XP, the gear XP. This is for the gear you have right now, I believe. Fatality tokens, gear, and so on. And the character XP. I think here you can change the character XP because I implemented it for Mortal Kombat 11. But for Mortal Kombat 1, uh, I did not. The reason why the character XP is here is because there are some items that require specific levels level one two three four so these are all the same gear but at different levels so this is level one two three four now if you go to the details this one tells you that you have uh, sorry one second let me find another item okay so this one so if you check this item level one i do not own it this means I cannot unlock levels 2, 3, and 4 because level 3, for example, this item level 3 has 4 levels, but you need to unlock level 1 first. After you unlock level 1, that's when you can unlock levels 2, 3, and 4, but they require that the character is already at a specific level. This is why I allow for MK11 to change the character XP. So after you unlock the items, and then you can come back and look uh, specify different levels. I don't know what they do in game because I do not play the game actively. But for people who know, I think this will be a good feature for them if they require it. But I personally don't believe so. And again, for disabled items, these are items that don't do anything or will uh, cause problems. The only reason they are here is because some people say that it is working for them. But I do not want to claim responsibility for that. And you can see the image is missing because media is missing. This is normal because I did not implement this yet. So most of the stuff are not yet implemented, but the functionality for unlocking and so on are there. So if you click this, you can then just show card to go back to the card. And again, you can unlock the currency from here. Now for MK1, there are currently no bans. And for MK11, just like the old tool, there is a chance of a six hour ban, but now I changed the method of unlocking and everything happens in your web browser and in this code. So the unlock process does not, uh, does not rely on the game. So the chances of uh, a temporary ban are extremely low. This has been tested for three months and around 40 people have tested it and none of them reported any issues. So for example, if I go to here to Baraka, and uh, let's say brutalities and I select the uh, sorry if I select all add to cart and I um, unlock the items have been unlocked and you can see I did not get a message that I am banned or anything now one more feature is you can un uh, show all the items at once which is similar to the select all button if you click on it it will tell you a number of categories and this is an Easter egg. Are you sure? Are you, are you, are, 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 are you, are you sure? If you click yes, 
all of the items for this category which is items baraka will be shown here these icons on the left are just for visualizing because when you put them in the cart you start to get lost easily so if I go back for example to all items and I click show entire category my computer will freeze because there are way too many items 32,000 items so if I select them all and add them to cart probably you are gonna see PC exploding okay we are back here so my PC exploded as you saw need a new PC now anyway in case you do that and your cart becomes full and becomes unresponsive you can go right click inspect go to application and then you can delete the cart everything here what did I do everything here is deletable so don't be afraid to delete your cart but then you have to refresh the page now if I close the application completely and then I open it again it will automatically sign in to the game that you used last which is MK11 uh, if you want you can sign out to go back to the previous game but if the session was still active it will automatically log in again and at the same time, if you had items in your cart, they will stay. So I think that covers everything. Okay, these buttons. Yes, I sorry, forgot to mention those. You have the how to use here, the same video and the same donate button. This one is check for updates. This button just shows you if there is any update. You just click it. If there is an update, it will pop up here. If there is no update, nothing will happen. And here are the settings because some people are in countries where the game is banned and they are using VPNs. So you can choose here the appropriate VPN method for you. Put in the host and the port. And here you can choose the update channel if it is stable or the beta. And these are the credits for the people who helped uh, the unlocker. Are you sure? And I think that's it. It is a long tutorial because people ask different questions and I try to cover everything I can. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or message me on Twitter or Discord and I will be glad to help. For some days, I would open Nexus and check the posts, but I am not very active there and I do not receive notifications. So your best chances are either message me on MK Secrets or Twitter or Discord or you can on GitHub create a new issue an issue means bug report then you can just create a new issue and you can tell me what's the problem and if you want you can attach pictures and so on so thanks for watching